Hey guys, I just kind of wanted to sit down with the camera and talk about sort of how my planner has been treating me lately. I'm still in the pocket size file effects. Um, that's not going to change. I love the size. It works really well for me. I, I understand it's not like for everybody, but it works really well for me. Um, I was going to come out here and say that everything's going really good and I'm feeling really great about it. Um, and then it started to get a little bit overwhelming over the last week while I was trying to find time to film this. So it's a little bit more complicated than that. There's this delicate balance when it comes to talking about planner piece, I think, um, between how much you have to do and how much time you have to spend in your planner. Um, and I have a lot of thoughts about that and I want to do maybe a blog post coming up someday about that. But um, speaking of my blog, I've actually been working on it a lot this week. Um, and I'm setting up an email list, so if you go there to ganchiplans.com, you should be able to sign up for my email list. I'm going to start doing, um, like, newsletters, roughly monthly, just kind of to update you on all the different platforms that I'm trying to stay on top of. I'm trying to do a lot of work with my, um, my YouTube channel, my Instagram page, and my blog all together, kind of building up a sort of cohesive look for all of that so hopefully you'll see some changes um the i think it should be down that side the little youtube logo for my channel has been updated so i'm making a lot of really good use out of the uh, context lists both the one in the front that i show you um like every single flip through and then the one in the youtube section which i kind of showed you a little bit of um in the most recent flip through video so check that one out it's basically the same thing, but um, specifically for tasks related to all this YouTube stuff. And I've been finding that really useful. Um, that's like my one go-to list uh, when I have time to work on something for my channel or for my blog. I pull up that list and it's all the things that are ready to go right then that I can work on right then. I think part of the reason I'm using both of my context lists is I don't have quite as much room maybe on my weekly task list. I filled up my weekly task list this week with a lot of small things really quickly and so everything else just kind of goes straight in the front on the context list instead, which I think is fine because the more I'm flipping there, the more I'm getting things done that maybe have been sitting around for too long waiting for me to work on them. Um, in the past that list has been sort of a, a dump site of old abandoned projects, but I'm getting better at making sure that they actually are next action items and not sort of allusions to projects. So previously I would put like a project name there and basically the idea is, okay, flip to the list, look at the project and do the next thing for that project. But that's not working for me because I see it and I go, oh, that's really big. Instead, I make a project page elsewhere and I just put one task from that project on the context list, put a little dot to it, next to it so that I know when that's done, I can check it off on that list, progress, and then grab another task, put it back with a dot as well, if that makes any sense. But I am picking away at those tasks. It's feeling really good just to make a little bit of progress towards these projects that have been sitting around for a long time. This backyard is one of those. Um, right now I'm stuck on a big amount of research that needs to be done. So that's something that I've started on. It's, it's a task that's almost a little bit too big for my context list, but I can't really split it up anymore right now until I know what's there. Like you have to do the research in order to know what you need to research. So that's where we are. But I think one of the really good benefits of having a well-established planner system that you can trust is knowing when you can stop trying to be productive, when you can stop trying to work on stuff. Um, and I'm trying really hard to focus on being present when I'm not being productive. Um, because a lot of times when I find a quiet minute, my mind starts going around, what can I get done, what can I get done? I gotta pull out my planner, what can I pull out of here to get done? Um, if I haven't done anything by the end of the day, I feel like I've wasted my day. Um, but I think it's just as important as knowing what does need to get done is knowing when you've done enough when you've made enough progress for the day, when you can stop and stop thinking about tomorrow, stop thinking about someday, and just focus on now. Um, these fleeting months, uh, my baby is growing so fast. She's 15 months old now, 
and you know every single day she's learning new words she's you know learning new concepts she's getting more and more independent and mature and it's crazy and just the the quickness with which she's growing really reminds me how quickly time passes by and how I don't want to miss any second of this so um if she's you know awake and playing Ideally, I'd rather be on the floor, you know, interacting with her instead of in another room working on something. As much as it's nice when she's able to be independent, keep herself occupied so I can cook dinner or put in the laundry or try to get something tidied around the house. It's also, I think, really important for me to stop and say, okay, look, you know, like last night I got dinner cooked. So that was good. I think she let me do something else too. I packed the bag for the babysitter for the next day. And then I, um, I realized, okay, that's enough. And we sat down and we, we played for a little bit. We read a book. Um, so that is something that I'm trying to focus on and I think I'm getting a little bit better at. And I think that having a system that I can trust is, is helping me learn how to do that a little bit better. And the other thing I'm doing just starting this week, and I actually did a blog post about that as well. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, and don't forget to subscribe for blog updates, because that email list should be set up by now, um, is I've been waking up uh, an hour early every day. Normally, the baby wakes up at 6, and I've been setting my alarm for 6 and trying to get up around then. This is during the week, because uh, my husband has to leave for work around 6.30, 6.45. He brings the baby with him and drops her off, um, and so I have to get up at 6 to help get her ready, uh, but I've been trying to get up at 5 for myself and spend that one hour dedicated to stuff for my channel, um, ganchi stuff, and it's been working pretty well. Um, the blog post <laughs> details how it didn't work so well on Monday, um, and that is going to be a recurring issue um, that it's all dependent on Agnes actually sleeping until six, but on the days that she does, I've been getting a lot done, and just this one week has been um, really productive for me. A lot of things that I've been putting off, things that just seem like too much um, late at night, end up feeling a lot more manageable in the early morning. Um, a lot of the things just require me to sit down and write something for like half an hour, an hour. Um, and that's not often something that I can do multitasking. I really need to just sit down, turn off distractions, turn on some white noise and focus. And so getting up early has really allowed me to do that. I've been making some great progress and I'm really happy and excited for what's to come. Um, so subscribe to my email list, all that. <laughs> But really, I just, uh, I've been feeling good about it, and if I tell my husband about it, he's like, oh, that's nice, but he doesn't really get it. You guys are my people. You get it. You understand why I'm so excited about just what I've been able to get done lately, um, and I just wanted to share that with you. So let me know below how your planner system is treating you. Are you feeling planner peace right now, or are you feeling like you have either too many things to do or not enough? Um, let me know below. Maybe we can commiserate. I'm not going to try to like offer solutions because I probably don't have any, but I can say I've been there too. Um, so I really appreciate getting the chance to, to talk to you all about what works for you and your systems. You always give me great ideas and I appreciate that. So don't forget to subscribe as well because I'm posting videos twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays. So I will see you in the next one on Thursday. Bye.